Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Movie House, or to give it its full title, welcome to Movie House, the film studio tycoon, and with a name like that, there are of course no prizes at all for guessing what this game is all about, we are going to make some movies, very obviously we are, but not just any old movies, oh no absolutely not, we are going to make some cinematic masterpieces, just you watch, we are going to make legends of film, I'm sure what we put together will be amazing, and not awful straight to DVD nonsense that nobody ever remembers. So yes, we get to build up our studio, we buy all the equipment, we choose the themes for our films, we hire the actors, we hire the staff, we write the script, we unlock new things to use in our productions, and we try to make it big in the world of cinema. So here we go, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's dive in and make some timeless classics. Welcome to the 1980s. Oh, okay, we've gone back in time a little bit. I was not expecting that, okie doke. Welcome to the lot. The cameras are ready to roll. We'll be taking a journey through some of the most exciting decades of filmmaking starting right now in the 80s. You'll be in charge of writing scripts and producing movies and don't forget to keep the finances in check. We might well forget to keep the finances in check, random unnamed person down there, but do you know what? It'll be fine. We're going to make some amazing, superlative, brilliant films, so don't you worry. We're going to make a great big load of money. We're not going to have to care about the finances. We're going to be so rich, so knee-deep in lovely cash, we're not going to have to bother. So don't you worry about the monies. It's all going to be fine. Let's get started. Okay, so that's what we have. Kind of a trailer thing there. Oh, okay. Create a company. Right, here we go. Standard fair this kind of game. So, yeah, give our company a name. And then we get to pick a logo. Okay, is there anything that looks like it might possibly resemble a teapot or a cup or something like that? I can't see anything right now. I'm not quite sure what that is. Some very angular, pointy scribbling going on. Um, there are quite a lot of things to choose from, but I can't see anything that looks a little bit like a teapot. Okay, well, I'll have a quick look through. Let's get a company name sorted, and we'll pick a lovely logo. Okay, there we go. We're going to call our company Cupboard Works. I quite like that. I think that sounds pretty good. Inspired by DreamWorks, of course, and also it's got a bit of double meaning to it, because we're subtly telling people that what we do in the cupboard, in our cupboardy studios, is going to work. Cupboard works. It just works. So there you go, a bit of double meaning going on. And to represent Cupboard Works, we've picked this lovely penguin down here, because how could we not pick a lovely penguin? As we all know, penguins are brilliant. And to make this penguin even more brilliant, they're wearing a little bow tie, and bow ties are cool. Oh, hello there, random person. Rise of the videotape. Launched only a few years ago, the videotape player has brought movies to the living room. Some experts claim that the videotape might even replace cinemas. Imagine that. Okay, so there's a news presenter giving us some breaking news about videotapes. Um, okay, do we click that to make that go away? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. So we're back to this then, are we? Okay, a little thing just popped up and gave us an update. That's quite nice. Right, so yeah, Cupboard Works being represented by a lovely penguin wearing a bow tie. And we all know bow ties, of course. So there we go. Absolutely perfect. Wonderful stuff. Let's continue and get making some cinematic masterpieces, please. Right, so what do we have going on? Let's get our studio rolling. Click on the staff building to hire a writer. Hang on. Up here, I can see that time is passing, I think. Very important question. Is spacebar pause? And... Oh, it is. Okay, spacebar is pause. It was just a little bit slow to get round to pausing it, I think. Hang on, I'm going to check and unpause. And then, oh no, hang on. But now I press space button, it's not unpause. Hang on, press play like that. Is spacebar pause? It is pause. It's a little bit slow. It takes a little while to think about pausing it. But spacebar is pause. It just takes a while. Okay, right. So we're in the fourth month of year one. Okay, we've got 150,000 money, just, you know, non sort of specific money, 150,000 units of a currency around the place. Over here, it looks like we have no research going on. We've got, I don't quite know what that is, but I imagine that's popularity or something, so no popularity. That's some sort of market share, you know, as opposed to our rivals or whatever. Don't know what they are. And there is our studio, and there's the person down there telling us all about the newfangled technology of videotapes. Okay, no. right, let's get our studio rolling. Click on the staff building to hire a writer. Okay, can we zoom in? Oh, oh, okay, right, I've zoomed in, and I didn't mean to zoom in, and now I don't know how to zoom out. To oh, no, right, okay, we just zoom out on the mouse wheel. It took a while to respond again. Is that the staff building? Because it's kind of lit up. Is that the staff building? Um, yeah, click on the staff building. Ah, there we go. Hire a writer. Okay, so let's get that done. So hire a writer. These are the writers that are interested in joining our staff. Each writer has a craft and a creativity skill. 
Our goal is to produce movies with as high craft and creativity as possible. Select a writer from a list of candidates. Okay, so who do we have? We've got Johnny Simpson, Blanche Bird, Albert Olson, Lily Lopez, and Evelyn Payne. Okay, so they've all got 10k. I imagine 10k is some sort of hiring fee, and that's their monthly wage. They want more or less the same kind of thing. So hang on, what's that? So creativity 9, craft 5. So you've got 14 in total. Blanche Bird is 10 and 5. So we might as well have Blanche Bird over Johnny Simpson. Albert Olson's, ah, you're 5 and 10. I would rather have people with a lot of creativity and they can learn a bit of craft, I think. So at the moment, Blanche Bird is looking like a good candidate. Lily Lopez, 6 and 7. And then Evelyn Payne, 8 and 5. Okay, Blanche Bird, you're in. So 10 creativity, 5 craft. And we can yeah, help you hone your craft as we go. Okay, so hire you. That's exciting. We have Idlin, please. Something's happened to our staff cabin thing. Uh, great, we now have a writer on board. Click on the staff building to start writing a script. Here we go. This is where the good stuff happens. Right, so because we're in tutorial land, we can't go and hire a writer, I don't think. It'd be good if we could have two, but never mind. Right, a new script. Here we go. So what can we do? Writer's room. So genre. Oh, here we go. This is where we get to pick our film and what's going to happen. So there are plenty of genres that we could possibly get eventually, but right now we can only write about either a drama film or a mystery film. Oh, this is wonderful. We might have to go for mystery. We might have to go for a mysterious mystery film. Okay, do you know what? Yeah, we're going to go for that. Let's go for a mystery film. And now we have to give it a name. Okay, what name sort of come up? Night Prisoners. Okay, so the game is generating random names. <laughs> Collateral Report. Risk of Clues. That would work well for mystery. That would go quite well. Knives on the Express. Probably yet to eat the food with. Uh, knives in the Dark. Okay, Knife Heavy. Sense of Fear. Murder in the Hotel. Kai... <laughs> Cardinal Searching. What was he searching for? Primal Prestige. Impact of Fear. Shadow on the River. These are amazing. Murder on the River. An Invitation in the Dark. Oh, these are fantastic. Hey, if you change it to drama, does it bring up dramatic things? Fourth Kings. Doubt Edge. Years of Eternity. Without a Notice. Memento of Eternity. Okay, right, hang on. I've got to stop doing this. I could be here all day doing this. We'll have a video where we just click on that and read them out. But okay, right, hang on. Back to mysteries. Okay, so we're going to make a mystery film. What do you want to call it? Not Murder on the River, although it does sound quite exciting. But no, we're not going to call it Murder on the River. What can we call our mystery film? Oh, that is completely perfect. We are going to call our mystery film, Where Did I Put My Keys? Because I think that is one of life's big mysteries, isn't it? You put your keys down somewhere, and then later on you go back to where you are fairly certain you left them, and they're not there. They've moved. They've gone somewhere. But you ask around, and nobody is claiming to have moved them. Everyone just goes, no, I don't know. I haven't moved your keys. They're where you left them. But where did I put them? I thought I put them here. They're no longer where I thought they were. Where did I put my keys? It's a mystery we need an answer to. I think that's perfect. So there we go. There we go. It's a mystery that needs solving. Where did I put my keys? Okay, so time. Set development speed on our wonderful new mystery film. Um, rush job, 28 days. Industry standard, 36 days. As long as it takes... 46 days. Yeah, let's go for that. So what does that do? Maximum script quality. Oh, so the quality of the script goes up because, of course, we're spending 10 more days on it. That's fine. That's worth doing 10 days to get a really perfect script for our fantastic mystery film that's going to revolutionise 1980s cinema. Let's be honest. That's worth it. That's completely worth it. So, OK, um, writers. OK, hang on a minute. We can get Blanche Bird on that one. Blanche Bird, write a sensational script about where did I put my keys. Okay, develop. So now what happens? We're just going to sit about and wait. Right, we've played a few games like this before. So we wait and these numbers will pop up. Look, things will start topping up in there. Um, I mean, do we have to do anything? Do we do anything? Uh, hang on, hang on. Pause time for a second. An employee is waiting for direction. Okay, do we need to click on something up there? Um, oh, Okay, let's come up with a great plot for our movie. Select the cards that are appropriate to the genre of the film we're making. You could possibly have told us this earlier, game tutorial. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, we've got to pick a setting. So the setting for where did I put my keys could be a mental asylum, a space station, the sewers, or Victorian England. Let's go for Victorian England. 
Um, I was kind of thinking more car keys, but no, it's now going to be keys to, I don't know, some sort of factory, possibly. Okay, we'll pick that. The hero can be the imposter, a non-player character, a spy or a gambler. Um, okay, where did I put my keys? Um, maybe a gambler. Maybe a gambler. And they're going to gamble the keys to the Victorian factory away or something. Okay, we'll have a gambler. And the villain can be a puppeteer, a double agent, an evil child, or a henchman. Maybe it's an evil child. And the evil child keeps moving the keys and claiming it's not them. Okay, or a puppeteer, though. That would be quite sinister, wouldn't it? In a mystery film, that would make things quite sinister. A sinister person moving the keys around with puppets. Do you know what? We're going to go for a puppeteer. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, that, I'd, I'd pay to see that. I'd completely go to see that. Okay, so ah, there we go. Look, so things are now pairing up here. We've got one point in craft and one point in creativity. It's going well. It's going hang right. We can't do anything else. So move time on a bit quicker, please. Let's just tick time on slightly quicker because we're not doing anything. We've got to wait for Blanche to do her writing. I think we have to fill that bar up. So, okay. Uh, if you could write a bit more, Blanche, that would be good. Spend some money on wages. That's fine. But yes, we are taking a bit longer to write this. But okay. Right, an employee is waiting for direction. Okay, so do we click on that at the top again now? I imagine we do. Script complete. Where did I put my keys? Five and five. New best, new best. Yeah, we've seen very similar games this before. Script traits, none of those. New genre gets a bit of a boost. We got... A little way toward a research point and Blanche is slowly looking like she might level up and she's got a little bit better at writing mysteries. I mean this is going to be the best thing ever so it's going to be fine. Okay so we've done that now that's script complete we can start producing a movie but first we need to hire a director. Click on the production building to hire a director then click on it again to start production. Okay where's the is that the production building where's the production oh here Ah, there. Okay, that is apparently the production building, according to that. Okay, right. Hire a director. Who do we have? And what are their things? So, again, it's creativity and craft. So, Andrew, Dean, Jesse, Augusta, or Le uh, Lelia. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Time's ticking up. Pause. Time. Game. He's paid out a load of money for nothing. Um, okay, Andrew Sherman's looking good. Ten creativity, five craft. Would it make sense to have somebody with a little bit more craft on this one? Maybe you. Maybe Lelia Sanders. Because, um, yeah, you've got nine creativity, but six craft. So it's a little bit more craft, but your stats still are up to 15. Maybe we go for you. Yeah, let's hire you. You seem pretty good. I like that. A bit of craft, so you're a tiny bit better at knowing what you're doing, or that kind of stuff. Well, then click it again to produce the film. Okay, select a script. Where did I put my keys? It's a short film, but yeah, you've got to start somewhere. Um, set production budget. Oh, we can only do a short film. Oh, okay. 125 million to do a blockbuster. We're not quite at that point just yet. Okay, we're going to make this. And, oh, crikey. Okay, hang on. So industry standard to make this is 58 days. As long as it takes 92 days, it could be a little bit better. But that's quite the increase, isn't it? Is it worth doing? That's an extra what, month and a bit? Do you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We've got enough money to do this. Okay, continue. We're going to do that. The director can be Lelia Sanders. Okay, produce. This is going to be magnificent. Um, okay, where did I put my keys? We're clicking that. Ah, okay, so no action required. That's what we're doing. Right, Blanche, can you write something else whilst we're waiting? Because Blanche is doing nothing at all. Or can she do some research or can she do some training or something? Hang on. There's, there's people. There's people doing so. There is Victorian England look. <laughs> Perfect. There it is. There's a fireplace and a table. Clearly it's Victorian England. Oh, hang on. They're waiting for direction. Okay. Allocate the total budget for the casting call. Of course, we haven't got any people actually performing just yet. Um, D, C, B or A. Um, okay, hang on. The total budget for the casting call. We'll spend... Hang on, that's 40k. We, we can't afford quite that much. We're going to have to spend a little bit less. 30k on that, please. Start casting. Let's see if we can get any D-listers in. Uh, okay, so we've got a point of creativity. 
Now point of craft coming in. This is good. Let's move time on a bit quicker, shall we? Let's get this sorted. Because I'd like to... I'd like to get this done as soon as possible. Right, you're waiting for direction. Hang on a sec. Oh, it pauses time there. Right, choose actors for the starring roles. Okay, so who is going to be our leading actor, which is going to be our gambler? Um, Ivor Erickson or Ronnie Garner? Um, Ivor Erickson is marginally better in terms of creativity. So we'll have you, please. And then supporting... Oh, okay, we don't have much in the way of a choice. Okay, we'll have Ronnie Garner then. So Ivor Erickson is our gambler and Ronnie Garner is our sinister puppeteer, I imagine. Okay, right. Cast those people. This is wonderful. So where did I put my keys? Is slowly but surely developing. This is good. Time is ticking by. Right. Back to direction again. Allocate production budget. It's time to allocate a production budget to the various departments that make up our movie. Distribute the budget so it fits the genre of the film we're making. I don't know how to do that. How do I do that? Um, supporting cast, props and effect. Oh, right. Okay. It's like this. It's, again, we've seen many games like this. Um, I mean, props and effect. I think props and effects probably a bit less in a mystery. It's going to be about the set design and then the acting. Props and effects are important. Joe, let's have 20% on that, shall we? 40, 20, 40. Let's give that a go, shall we? We're just going to pretend that that might be something that could possibly work. If we go back down here, then. Oh, there's people. Hello, person. You're not one of the actors, are you? That doesn't look like a Victorian England outfit. Also, your hat appears to be... <laughs> yeah, the hat is not affixed to your head. Because you, you're you moving your head, but the hat is not going with it. And and, and now it's attached again. There we go. <laughs> that was marvellous. Okay. Okay, right. Are we sort of ticking over okay? I'm a bit... It's a bit sad that Blanche isn't doing anything. Blanche, can you write a new script, please? Can you write um, another mystery? Let's get another mystery written. And that means that as soon as Where Did I Put My Keys is done, we can begin filming the next thing. Okay, so what can our second film be? Again, we're going to go down mystery. We're going to go down mystery, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's pick another film, show. What's the next one going to be about? There we go. I like that. We're going to call our next film Slight Inconvenience on the Orient Express. We don't want to have a murder on the Orient Express because, you know, that's been done before. And I imagine trying to record a murder scene is going to be quite difficult. There's going to be a lot of blood and special effects and that kind of stuff. We have a very tight budget at the moment. So maybe we won't go for a murder on the Orient Express, but we could go for a slight inconvenience on the Orient Express. Maybe there's a suitcase that's blocking a doorway and it could be a mystery as to whose suitcase it is or possibly somebody ordered some tea and they got given coffee so the mystery is how that order got mixed up over in the kitchen carriage of the orient express i think that sounds quite good so do you know what yeah we're gonna go for slight inconvenience on the orient express write that please it's gonna be amazing as long as it takes because we've got another thing going on anyway right blanche absolutely go and develop that please that's gonna be good and that means you are doing something because at the moment, Blanche was doing completely nothing at all. So she might as well do something. We're paying her. Oh, hang on a minute. Right, hang on. Slight inconvenience on the Orient Express. Where's it going to take place? Okay, this, this isn't going to work well, is it? Hang on. Ghost Town, Dystopia, Cabin in the Woods or Plantation. Okay, hang on. What's that? Indie movies not yet researched. Hang on. Can we click that? No. Okay, I was kind of hoping it might be on the Orient Express. Okay, well, this might make the... I mean, it's going to be even more mysterious, let's be honest. A ghost town, dystopia, cabin in the woods, plantation. I mean, maybe, maybe the Orient Express pulls up at a ghost town. And maybe that could be the slight inconvenience. It's pulled up at a ghost town and they were supposed to wait for, you know, five minutes to let the ghost get on. But instead they waited for ten minutes and that is the slight inconvenience. Yeah, okay, we'll go for a ghost town. The hero can be a psychic child, a witness, a veteran, or a class clan. Let's have a veteran. Let's have a grisly, hardened old veteran as the hero. And the villain can be the killer, the double agent, an experiment gone wrong, or a lifetime row. How about a lifetime rival? And maybe they keep inconveniencing our veteran hero there. They keep doing things to inconvenience them. Only slightly, not really badly. But yeah, okay, we'll have a lifetime rival, please. That's wonderful, right. And then back over here, back on where did I put my keys? Trouble on the set. Oh no, director, the cinematographer needs your help. We need to film a smooth tracking shot, but everyone has forgotten how. Well, isn't that brilliant? Use jump cuts, use a camera dolly, hire an outside expert for 5,000 monies. I don't think we should 
pay for that right now. Let's use a camera dolly. I don't really know what a camera dolly is, but let's use one of them anyway, because it sounds like it might possibly be a thing. Right, okay, it's looking good. Where did I put my keys? It is looking like it's almost completed its filming run. I imagine then we have to edit it and that kind of stuff, but this is fine, this is fine. Um, okay, so she's now waiting for direction. What do we do next? Produce a movie, it's done. Where did I put my keys? Oh, it's got 11 and 12. Okay, 11 craft, 12 creativity, no movie trades. We get a few extra things, gets a new genre, research ticks up, yet they become better at doing some stuff. Okay, now what happens? Now what do we do? Great, our first movie has been produced. We can now look for distributors that will show our movie in theatres. Don't we need to edit it? I thought maybe we might need to do some editing. Hang on a minute, hang on. Uh, click on the staff building to distribute the movie. Okay, so now we can distribute. Where did I put my keys? This is going to be a sensation. This is going to be amazing. Select media. Uh, yeah, that thing, yes, but we can't do anything else. There are currently no studios interested in distributing this property. You can enter festivals to gain interest. As we are a new and unknown studio, there are currently no distributors who are interested in distributing our movie. Hang on, pause time for a second. We will need to build buzz for our movie to gain distributors. We should enter film festivals to build buzz for our movie. Okay, we'll do that because I think... 25,000 of our monies is quite a lot. So, okay, open the festival calendar. Um, okay, it's not horror. Yeah, okay, it's that one. It's the short film festival. Okay, can we can we enter into that? This festival seems like a match for us. Once we enter, it will take a month for the festival to take place and award the winner. Enter the festival. Okay, do we, oh, it's five, five grand to enter. Okay, what are we up against? Talisman of the Conqueror. Maverick of Rio. The Colossus of the Mantle, Hidden Duke, <laughs> just hiding behind that pyramid or whatever it is. The City of Hustle and a Witch of Morning. Okay, right, hang on. Okay, enter that then. Enter where did I put my keys? It's going to be a sensation. Okay, so we're competing at a film festival. Um, okay, slight. Oh, hang on. Great, the festival will showcase our movie for a month. We will earn some extra buzz from festival guests. Afterwards, the judges will decide upon a winner. I hope we win. So do I, random person who we don't quite know who you are still. Okay, so now we have to do something with this script here. So what's happening? Oh, it's complete. It's complete. Okay, how was it? Six and six. It's a new best. Okay, slight inconvenience on the Orient Express might be quite good. It's got a plot twist. It's got a plot twist. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, what is in the box? I don't know. So, okay, research to not looking great. Um, and they become it better at doing mystery writing again. Okay, this is wonderful. Okay, so that's now complete. We can unlock... Oh, hang on. Pause time a second. We can unlock new research. What do we do with this? What is this? Um, studio upgrades. Researcher's genre is two research points. Okay, hang on. Don't do that. Studio upgrades. So if we click that, what does that do? So studio upgrades, mini major, control 25% of the indie market, distribute five movies, upgrade studio. Um, I don't know what this... Oh, I think we have spent our research point. Can we press upgrade studio? No. Okay, I think we need to do that stuff and then we can press that button to upgrade. Um... Okay, we're nowhere near doing this. One high-quality movie, distribute 10 movies, and amass half a million monies in funds. Okay, right, we're a little way off from doing that. Um, but our research point has vanished. So we've done studio upgrades. Next up is employee management, but we could possibly do with unlocking another genre. And the next ones we get two research points are fantasy, western, or adventure. Oh, they're all amazing. I mean, fantasy. We could make all sorts of exciting stuff. Um, okay. So, competing at a film festival is still going on. Oh, hang on, unpause time. That might help a little bit. Oh, hang on, you can't unpause time with spacebar for some reason. Um, oh, hang on. We're going to need a bigger boat. Um, okay, as an up-and-coming studio, there's so much to do. Let's see what's up next. Okay, random person again who I don't know who you are. Um, what is next? Okay, are we going to look at what's next? Okay, I don't think they're going to look at what's next. Um, offers. Buzz. Oh, hang on. What's offers? What was offers? Um, productions. Where did I put... Oh, hang on. At the festival. The festival judges would like to learn more about our film. We need to highlight the part of the film we're most proud of. Where did I put my keys? Uh, talk about use of props or highlight the story. Yeah, we didn't do too much with the props. 
that was something we didn't spend that much time on. It was 20%, wasn't it? So I like the story. Of course, it's the story. The story of where the keys went, of course. Um, can we please, while we're there, produce this? Can we produce that film? Can we make slight inconvenience on the Orient Express? We might as well get our people to do something. So yeah, can you do that, please? Um, yeah, it's a short film. We'll have as long as it takes, because that seems fine. We'll have the director. You can do that. Please make us a lovely film. We'll get some actors and stuff. It's going to be wonderful. And we'll leave Blanche for a while, I think. We'll leave her so not doing much right now, because she's just written two top quality scripts, let's be honest. Um, we are getting some buzz. I'm not quite sure where that's being measured. Is that being measured on where did I put my keys? I can't see. Oh, oh, hang on. That just, oh, hang on. It's gone back up to there, has it? And that's them recording. Oh, no, I've just, I, hang on. I want to see how, what the production's doing. <laughs> um, okay, hang on. Slight inconvenience on the Orient Express. Total budget for the casting call. Um, okay, it's going to be. Oh, that's a lot of money. And drop it down by 5k. We'll we'll spend 25k. We might not get some good people, but okay. Um, we've completed our first film festival. Winning or losing festivals can affect the morale of our employees. We should be careful and keep our employees happy, lest they decide to quit. I'm sure they're going to be fine. Okay, so what happened? Uh, click on the employee's name to see their happiness. Okay, clickety click. Uh, oh, okay. No, we're not doing that. We're choosing some actors. Okay, the leading person is going to be, again, you. Oh, these are the same people. <laughs> these are the same people. Okay, do you know what? It's like, we'll cast you in your roles as whatever it was. I've forgotten. Stuff is going on. Click on the employee and see that happens. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Uh, no, the, the game isn't happy. <laughs> Great, with well, our employees happy, we should continue writing scripts and producing movies. Check out the research page to unlock additional filmmaking techniques. Don't forget to always strike a good balance between producing movies and training your staff. Good luck, director. Oh, is that it? Have we now been cast out on our own? I mean, we are losing a lot of money. We could do with getting those films out very soon. How is the film festival doing? Um, it's generating buzz. We're in fifth place at the minute. But it's, yeah, it's doing okay. It's generating some attention, which is good. But, I mean, do we have to... What happens with that now? Can we now publish that? I, it went away down here. I kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't have pressed that button down there. Hang on, what are these things? Don't know what they are. How do we find out? How do we go back and publish our film that was going to be amazing? Where's it gone? <laughs> I'm not quite sure where it's gone. It's kind of vanished. Oh, hang on. They need some help with this. Do they? Okay, hang on a minute. Allocation budget again. Um, set design is going to be important. Supporting. Joe, you know what? Let's drop it just so it's. We'll have a bit more on set design, slightly less on props and effects. Because a set is going to be important on the Orient Express as in a ghost town. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll have that, please. That sounds quite good. Um, yeah, I think I did something to the production. I think by pressing that button, I've like cancelled it or something. Um, can we can we see? Can we look down here? Possibly, what's that doing? Oh, that gets rid of the... Hang on, what are these things down here? There's things down here. Industry overview. Financial overview. That's going to say, oh my goodness me, this is terrible. You've got no money left. Industry news is that. And that's going to be the game menu, isn't it? Yeah, Okay. I suspect maybe I canned our film. I suspect maybe I made a boo-boo by pressing that there. I thought it was just not going to show me it down here, but I think maybe we, we chucked our film away in the bin, which is a bit of a nuisance. Okay, right. We're running out of money very quickly. We could do with this appearing at the festival and then being able to sort of um, ship it out to people because we are losing quite a lot of cash very quickly indeed. I mean, our staff are very happy. They're very jolly staff, which is good. We could just do with some money coming in. Yeah, don't press that button, everybody, because that makes your film go away. That chucks your film in the bin. It would have been handy for the game to possibly say, whoa, do you want to chuck your film in the bin there? Unless it's not. Hang on. Distribute. Hang on. Can we distribute it now? Where, oh, no. Where did I put my keys? Is still there. Okay, so select media. Continue. <gasps> no, two people. Hang on. Hang on. Pause time. This is this is huge. Hang on. Pause. Nope. Nope. The get the get. Oh, there you go. Now it does it. Okay. Self-distribute, we can't do that. Uh, the distributor will design the poster. Some distributors will look to buy all rights to your movie. Okay, so Microfilm want to give us 89.7k. Um, I don't understand what that means. Distribution rights theatrical, distribution rights theatrical. Um, what's that mean? Percentage or a flat fee? Is that what that means? 
So they will give us 90,000 money right now, I think. Or they give us a percentage of the box office cut. I'd rather have that one. I'd rather have that there, please. So distribute with that. Is that going to work? I have no idea. Open back catalogue. Do we even... Okay, we now have one back catalogue. It got five out of ten. It got a B plus. The audience loved where did I put my keys. That poster is very good. <laughs> <laughs> Just somebody looking for their keys. Are they over there? Are they in that bit of the lake? Maybe over there in the clouds. Who knows where your keys are? But they are not where you left them. Um, okay, 31 fans. B plus. 5 out of 10 with the critics. Do you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. Hang on, slight inconvenience. Trouble on set. Um, okay, uh, so they need our help. We need to fill the background with actors with non-speaking roles. But everyone has forgotten how. How 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 do people forget to be in the background? You can't forget to be in a background. You don't need any skill. I could go and be in a background. I just have to be. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, bring in the lead actor. Uh, or cast extras. Or hire an expert. Uh, let's uh, bring in the lead actor. I don't know what, if that's going to help or not. But whatever the case. Right. Okay. We need another research point or two. I want to unlock a new genre. But look. Where did I put my keys? Is doing stuff. I don't know. Are we supposed to click on this? Are we supposed to click on that there? We're getting reviews. Four out of ten. While not all bad, it's mostly bad. The Daily Times. The direction is passable. Movie Club. The story could have been improved. I disagree, Movie Club. It was perfect as it was. The audience. Recently, I had the displeasure of seeing where did I put my keys. I can't believe the stuff they release these days. Um, okay. This is quite good. So... It was sophisticated. Hang on. Oh, okay, right. Okay, so the sophisticated uh, people in the audience liked it. The general viewers thought it was okay. Lowbrow people thought it was okay. The puppeteer was good. The gambler was bad. Victorian England was bad. <laughs> okay, that's probably true. That's probably entirely correct. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's go and do this. Production is complete. Slight inconvenience on the Orient Express. Two new high scores on that. That's got a plot twist. Again, what's in the box? I mean, who knows what it could be? Um, and yeah, there you go. We've not got a research point. We are picking up a few fans, which is quite nice. Right. So now, if we go to distribute, are we able to distribute at oh, one out of one? Oh, so we can't distribute the other film just yet because this is still on the go. Oh, okay. Maybe then we enter it into... How do we know what film we're entering? It doesn't seem to say what film we're entering. Okay, no, that's... I don't think that's working either. Short Film Festival. Enter. Oh, there you go. Slight inconvenience on the Orient Express. Um, yeah, get that done, please. Generate a bit of hype at that. That would be quite good. Um, yeah, no research points. I want to unlock a new genre. Okay, do you know what? Let's write a new script. Let's do a drama. Let's... Oh, no, but we are getting quite good at mysteries. And we are levelling up. We're getting better at writing mysteries. Um, okay, do you know what? Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to press this five times. And we're going to see what comes up. And then we might tweak it if it's a bit naff. One, two, three, four, five. Premonition on the island. <laughs> Premonition on the island of... Hang on, we can change this. Premonition on the island of... Um, varied... Cheeses. Premonition on the island of varied cheeses. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's going to be amazing as long as it takes. This is going to be sensational. Get us a writer. Develop that, please. We've got some money coming in. Money is coming in from our film, look. We're making actual cash. Look, people are going to see where did I put my keys. This is the best thing. Okay, right. Move time on nice and quick. Ah, right. An offer did just come in. Then hang on. Distribute. So we can distribute now. Slight inconvenience on the Orient Express. People do want to actually go and watch this. This is fantastic. Um, we'll have that one, please. We'll have that one. Not quite as much money as the other one, but still, it's some money coming in. Right, so get that distributed. Right, premonition on the island of various cheeses, setting-wise. Um, oh, the genre does not... Okay, it's ambivalent for Ghost Town. Victorian England is not a good match for mystery. Ancient Ruins... Casino's a bit not quite as mystery. Ancient Ruins would be good for a mystery, surely. Um, a hero in a mystery. A scientist, a tourist. Okay, the tourist has gone to the island of varied cheeses in search of varied cheeses. And the villain could be, not the living dead, 
Um, an imposter. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, maybe they're an imposter of the hero tourist. And they're kind of, you know, impostering them, if that's a word. Is that a word? Um, but yeah, maybe that's the problem. And so people are now thinking that the tourist is causing trouble, whereas really it's the imposter. And they have to clear their name on the island of various cheeses. And they've had a premonition that this, yeah, they might have met somebody there that was important to them. And it turns out that it's their long lost twin brother or something. I don't know. Right. This is fabulous. Right. We'll get that done. Slight. Oh, hang on. The festival. The festival judges would like to learn more about our film. We need to highlight the part of the film that we're most proud of. Um, okay. Inconvenience in the Orient Express. Actors or story. Let's praise the actors. The actors are good. We like the actors. We wouldn't have a film without the actors. Um, okay, so how did we do? Did we win? Um, that got three. Hidden Duke got three. These are the same things. Um, I don't know. That got three stars. That got two. That got one. I don't think... Did we do anything? I'm not quite sure. I don't fully understand that screen. But okay, right. So, um, slight inconvenience on the Orient Express is now out there. Is it making money? Oh, hang on. We can read the reviews, can't we? Hang on. Reviews. Um, the story could have been improved. The direction is passable. While not all bad, it's mostly bad. They're the same reviews that we had before. And how do the audience feel about it? Sophisticated people thought it was incredible. Everyone else, same opinion as last time. Ghost Town was good. Veteran and lifetime rival, bad choices. Some of the onset trouble was left unresolved. Oh, botherations. Okay, but we did just make a huge pile of money, which is wonderful. Look at that. We're making money from slight inconvenience on the Orient Express. And um, yeah, now premonition on the island of various cheeses is underway, <laughs> which is it's going to be a sensational script. It's going to be a complete hit. We could if we could have two people work on the script, wouldn't it? That'd be quite nice. But okay, right. Run time on very quickly. Let's see. Money's coming back up. We've got money actually coming in. This is very nice. Okay, that is now done. Okay, this is good. So, yep, script is complete. We get various bits. Oh, six, oh, seven and seven now, which is good. Um, Blanche is now better at doing some stuff. She's better at writing mysteries. Okie doke. Right, so now we have to go over here and produce premonition on the island of various cheeses. Uh, yeah, we'll have that one, please. Yeah, as long as it takes, makes perfect sense, make it good. You can direct it because you're the only person we've got. Right. Okay, we can open the back catalogue now. Look, we can see two things. Okay, they're very similar. They're very similar. Although, where did I put my keys? Slightly more popular with the fans. Okay, we'll see how that compares to Premonition on the Island of Various Cheeses very soon. But, okay, so move time on pretty quickly. I want to get some more research points. I want to get a new genre unlocked. Because I'd like to get something slightly different on the go. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, I've missed out on this. Um, total budget for the casting call. Let's, you know what? Let's push the budget out. Let's go for 35k total. Yeah, yeah. Check out that money we're splashing on the casting call, everybody. It's going to be fantastic. Let's keep watching. Just make sure this is looking good. Um, Blanche is doing nothing. Bit of a shame, but there we go. Right. Here we go. So pick the actors. It's the same people. Okay, well, hang on. What's that do? Uh, we spend 15k and turn them into a C list. Okay, we're pressing that button. Um, oh, hang on. Somebody else has appeared. Okay, you're a C list actor now. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll have you as the leading person. But then as a secondary person, let's. Oh, what's that? The lead. Oh. If cast a supporting actor, direct happiness minus five. Okay, no, let's not have conflict. Let's have the two classic actors. Let's have our two favourites in. <laughs> We've got those in. We have to have those. Right, so time is flying on. Coming up to the end of our second year of making exciting films. The money is coming down quite a bit, but we did just spend a great big pile of money on casting. So that's where that went. Production budget. Again, I think possibly shrink that down to sort of 40 40 on set design 40 on cast 20 on props and effects um i mean props it's just going to be it's going to be varied cheeses that's when you've props they're not that expensive so yeah we'll go for that please that seems like a good mix of things 
Right, here we go. Just tick time on until the next thing happens on the exciting development of the wonderful film Premonition on the Island of Varied Cheeses. Videotape boom. The sales of videotape players seem to have surpassed all expectations as the videotape rental market enters another successful year. Okay, that's very exciting. Right, hang on, a thing is happening. Trouble on the set. Okay, we need to cut away from the main footage to show related scenery, but everyone has forgotten how. Use a bumper, cut to B-roll, Hire an expert. Do you know what? We have got a bit of money. Can we hire an outside expert? Can we do that possibly? That might be quite good. Um, let's see. We should select. Uh, cut, cut to B. Oh, I see. Right. They tell us what to do. Cut to B roll. Okay. So it flashes on off. So that tells us the answer to make things better. Okay, so now we know if that pops up again, we know what to do with that. Okay. Right. Get that out of the way. And while time is ticking by, I was wondering what the point was of being able to zoom in to the ground level and look around. Because you don't seem to have to do anything. It's just one person standing there with the hat that isn't actually on their head. And one set, you can't look around and nothing changes. It's a little bit strange if we're being honest. Okay, production is complete. It's a wonderful mega super film. We are not quite at the point of getting a research point. That's a bit slow, isn't it? That's a little bit slow. But uh, okay, yep. That's very wonderful. And we have got a research point. We've got one research. Hang on a minute. Research genre two, it says. I'm just going to click one of these and hope that it lets us unlock it. I mean, fantasy would be ideal, but no. Okay, we can't get that done. That's a bit of a nuisance. Um, okay, right. Try and distribute our film. That would be fantastic. Because, although people aren't going to be interested in it. Hang on, we've got to go and do a festival thing for it. Short film festival, enter that for 5k. Premonition on the island of various cheeses and tears. Um, yeah, okay, so we're competing at a film festival. We can unlock new research, but we want to get another genre sorted. Right, okay, write another thing. Write another script. We might all stick down mystery, because we know what we're doing with that. We're getting quite good at that. What can our next mystery film be called? What shall we call it? I mean, there are many options. We can just get some inspiration for it. Murder in the Gloom, Murder in the Mist, Rival of Dreams, Death on the Island, Charade of Dread. Good grief, that sounds fantastic. Sense of Clues, another premonition, um, Killing on the Island, Killing on the Express, <laughs> Blades on the Red. Oh, right, I got it. We've got to name it something. I click those all day because they're very silly. Um, right. Okay, what do we call this and what do we call our next upcoming mega hit? Oh, we've come up with something amazing that's going to shake the industry to its very core. We're just going to call our film question mark or uh, or hmm? or however you want to pronounce that. I don't know, but it's a mystery in itself as to how to pronounce the title of this mystery film. And it could just be about anything we like, which is wonderful. So we're going to call it... Hmm? I don't know. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. It's a mystery. It's perfect for a mystery film. Uh, yep, as long as it takes, please do that. We'll get a writer on it. Um, yeah, okay. Start working on that, please, Blanche Bird. It's very important. There you go. <laughs> the festival judges would like to learn more about our film. Highlight the part. Um, not props. Highlight the story of Premonition on the Island of Various Cheeses. I mean, the props were mostly cheese-based. The props were quite heavily cheese-focused, I think, there, which is fair. Uh, which is fair. Right. We need our next film to come out of the festival, I think. Um, is it done? I think, and yeah, we're not in the festival anymore. Hang on a minute. So now can we distribute, can we distribute Premonition on the Island of Various Cheeses? I think we can. Oh, hang on. What's, what's that doing? Did we win anything? Premonition. It came fifth. Oh, okay. It was fifth. That's not so bad. Even though it had more, oh no, it wasn't quite as good in terms of, in terms of craft as Battle Outpost, but it was better than some others. Okay, well, hang on a minute. So can we now distribute premonition on the island of various cheeses yes please that's very good um yeah we'll take a percentage the post is a bit rubbish but okay that's fine we'll do that hang on now i've got to do something over here right setting so prison ancient ruins was bad for a mystery really a monastery oh yeah okay we're having it in a monastery please can we have some sort of none right a tourist was apparently bad for a mystery oh, that'd be perfect Mental patient, non-player character, defense attorney. Uh, okay, uh, a mental patient. That would go well with the question mark thing, wouldn't it? So yeah, somebody having a bit of bit of trouble and they're being treated for it. And the bad can be, uh, not aliens, an experiment gone wrong. Or the sim, oh, hang on, imposter works quite well. I have an imposter. Yeah, that works quite well. That was a plus on that. That's going to help out quite a bit. Okay. 
That's good. And now we need this to work well. We need premonition on the island of various cheeses to do pretty well. Because our money is is tumbling down. The person at the start said, please watch the finances. And um, yeah, we, we've spectacularly failed to do that so far. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll get some money soon coming from this. Hang on. Are we supposed to click this or what? I'm really confused as to what we do here. Um, okay. Again. Uh, hang on. 7 out of 10. It's a mediocre movie all round. Oh, I'm, I'm accepting that. I'm accepting that. Premonition, the island of various cheeses. Mediocre movie. We're taking it. We're taking it and we're running with it. Okay, what did people think? Exactly the same as before. Yeah, ancient ruins and tourist. Bad for a mystery. I thought ancient ruins would have been good for a mystery. Maybe that's more for action. Sort of Indiana Jones style. I don't know. Um, okay, right. That's fine. We're making some money from it, which is quite welcome because we're quite broke at the minute. And nothing happening with... Huh? At the minute. So that's quite good. So if we move time on pretty quickly, let's just get some more money coming in from this because then we need to spend it all on everything else for the other people. Uh, and boom, is it done? Right. I think the script is done. So script complete. Yep, yeah, absolutely fine. We've got nine and nine now. That's fantastic. Massive scope. Okay. So hang on. Hang on. A massive script fit for multiple movies. <gasps> oh, we can have sequels. Okay, sophisticated audience appeal plus 15%, but general audience and lowbrow audience, oh, the lowbrow really hate it, but it does have a plot twist. So general audience are okay with it, but lowbrow audience are going to hate this. They're not going to like this at all. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Never mind. Right, quickly produce this. So get, huh? Done. We'll have that, please. Yep, absolutely fine. We'll have as long as it takes because that's important. Make it good. Yep, produce that. That's wonderful. Right, okay. And when we go up to two research points, we're going to make something else. But I've got an idea of what Blanche Burr can do right now. She's not doing anything at the moment. Why don't we get a sequel for her and call it her? Like that. We can have two question marks. It can be the sequel already because we wrote a great big fancy script and it said it was good for multiple movies. So this is the follow up. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Blanche, get writing her, which is different to Huh? Because there we go. Oh, yes. This is wonderful. Oh, no. We put it as a drama. Bother. Okay. Mess it up. Hang on. Let's go back to this one. Sort the production out. Um, budget for the casting call. We'll put that at 30k. We want our same people in, really. I've put that as a drama. Can we cancel this? Can we stop this? Um, maybe we do. Maybe we do try a different thing, actually. Hang on. So a drama. Maybe we could put a drama... In a, a magical school, a monastery, a studio apartment to a desert. Put it in a studio apartment. The hero can be... The genre matches a drama. So an imposter... Can, the um, hero can be the imposter. We can switch it around in its head now. It's moved away from mystery. And it's now an exciting drama. And the villain can be a liar. Because that's quite good for dramatic purposes. Okay, so I've messed that up a little bit. It, it shouldn't be a drama. It should be a mystery. But we can make it work. We can absolutely make this work. It's going to be amazing. We could do with some more money. Right, you're waiting for some direction. Don't you worry. Right, here we go. We'll have you as the lead. <laughs> and we'll have you as the other. Oh, hang on. Hang on. You've got a thing. 15k. We can promote you up to a C-lister. Okay, that's wonderful. Um, well, hang on. Jeffrey's appeared. If you're cast as a lead actor, direct happiness. But you... Oh. Okay, you've both got a oh, character actor and the lead. Oh, okay, right. So, if they're cast as the lead actor, the director is less happy. Do you know what? No, we're going to stick with the two that we've got. We're going to stick with those because they're really good. Um, yeah, that's fine. Right, cast those people again. <laughs> we've only, we just have the same actors all the time. I'm sure that's a thing that some directors do. I don't know enough about films and directors to be aware of this. But, um, but yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on. You're waiting for some more direction. Uh, again, can we just have a standard thing, please? We'll have, oh, not like that, though. No, 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 no. Hang on. 40% for that. 40 per... Game. Behave, game. 40%. Back over here. 40%. Thank you so much. There we go. Um, Yeah, I think... Huh? Could be quite good. I'm a bit... It's a bit annoying that I put that as the wrong thing. But never mind. Never mind. We're going to be fun. We're going to get up to two research points. And we're going to make a, a fantasy epic. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get a fantasy epic underway because that's going to be fabulous. Um, okay, so hang on. So her is 
underway and her is still being written. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Is it finished? Script complete. Okay, so it's it's pretty good. New genre. We get some more research points. Yeah, Blanche Burr becomes better at writing a bit of drama. Still not up to two research points, though. Boo, game. Okay, well, hang on. Let's just um, complete production of her. Huh? And then we'll, you know, after that's done, we can then work on huh? the next one. The exciting, dramatic sequel to her. Huh? But um, yeah, let's get this one done first. It's taken a while, but that's okay. That's okay. We're making it as good as it can be. Okay, hang on. Here comes the little thing that says we don't know how to do a thing. We need to introduce a viewer to a new location, but everyone has forgotten how. Shoot an establishing shot, film a close-up. I mean, establishing shot would be the correct answer, surely. You have a shot that establishes where they are in the new location. Yeah, that, that's what we do. Um, I, I think possibly I'm a little bit concerned. Our director should know that. They should be aware of this. <laughs> that's their job. They've only got one job. They should know that, I think. Right, money is tumbling a bit. We need huh, to be really good. That's got to be a massive success. How are we doing with studio upgrades? Um, we've not distributed five movies and we don't control 25% of the indie market. Um, I mean, we get a little bit of money if we distribute 10 movies. Good grief, beer all day doing that. Crikey's right. I think that's finished. Okay, so how are we looking? It is 60, oh no, hang on, still taking up 18 and 19. That's quite good. Uh, yeah, massive scope and a plot twist. Okay, so complete that. Still, oh no, we are on two. Okay, this is very exciting. Firstly, though, hang on a second. Enter that into the film festival. So enter, huh? Into that. So that can generate a little bit of hype going. Oh, hang on. That didn't do it, did it? Um, no, it is in. It is in. Okay, now that's fine. I thought it was supposed to appear up here and tell us what was going on. Oh, there you go. Right, okay. That's it. Just there, is it? The festival judges would like to learn more about our film. We need to highlight the part of the film. Highlight the story. Praise it. Okay, highlight the story. I think it's got quite a good story going on. And can we please unlock a new genre? Can we unlock fantasy, please? Okay, that's really exciting. Okay, this is good. Right, offers are coming in. Offers are coming in. Oh, hang on. Short film festival. How did we do? It was six. I feel like we're being really hard done by with some of these things, but okay, right. Distribute, huh? So get that distributed. Yes, please continue. Oh, oh, there are three things. Unified artisans and micro. Oh, hang on, hang on. Put time on to normal speed. Um, 129k, but what's that all? Um, by accepting deal, this type you will not be able to distribute on secondary platforms like videotapes. Um... Okay, so they're going to buy everything. So we get a bit more money for it now, but we can't do anything with it in the future. When we unlock the secrets of videotapes, which might be in a while given the rate our research is going. Do you know what? We'll plan ahead. We'll plan ahead. We're not likely to get to that point, if I'm being honest, but we'll plan ahead. We'll go back to microfilm. They can give us 105 grand for that, please, over time. That's absolutely fine. And then we need to go over here, produce... Huh? So that one. So yeah, short film. As long as it takes, it's going to be fine. Director is you. Get it underway. And then Blanche, would you like to write a new script? But it can be a fantasy script. Okay, what can we call this? We've got a lovely fantasy epic underway. Let's write something fabulous. Okay, this is fantastic. It's what the 80s was crying out for. We are going to make a wonderful fantasy epic called The Amazing Tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants. And it's all about Jimmy, who is a wizard, and he thinks he's only a wizard when he puts on his amazing wizarding pants. And that's how he casts his spells. And he thinks, Joe, you know I need my wizarding pants. I need them to do my magic. But really, he doesn't need them at all. He needs to believe in himself. And Jimmy goes on an exciting journey to learn to trust in his own abilities. And then he can cast spells without his wizarding pants by the end of it. Oh, spoilers, by the way. Sorry, I kind of ruined the end of the film there. But there we go. That is what we're going to have. The amazing tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants. It's going to be fantastic. Write it as long as it takes. Oh, absolutely. Take I don't know, six months to write it. It's going to be a sensation. Um, okay, so that is underway. And we are also now producing... Huh? So it's going to take a while. However, we could do with some money coming in from this. Hang on, let's click the reviews for... Huh? 6 out of 10, direction is passable, 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, boo, Daily Times, we don't like you at all. The audience um, thought it was okay, 
Mental patient good for mystery, imposter good for mystery, monastery bad for mystery. Again, I disagree, game, I disagree. Surely it can just be anything. Okay, hang on. The Amazing Tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants needs a setting. Uh, castle, jousting school, high school or civil war. In a castle? A wizard in a castle seems pretty good, doesn't it? A hero, a warrior, a stowaway, a loner or an FBI. Okay, it's a loner. It can be a loner, a loner hero, and the villain can be a dragon. It, it's perfect. It's completely perfect. Yeah, we'll have a dragon, please, in a fantasy epic. Yes, that sounds incredible. And then we need to go and help out with the production, the budget for the casting call. <laughs> We're going to be quite poor in a second. Hang on. We'll have... Do you know what? We'll put 25k into it. It's it's a smaller budget for her huh? this time round. It's okay. Um, Yeah, okay, right. Move time on nice and quick, please. Come on, let's get this done. I want to get these final two films done. Oh, hang on. The set's changed. Because we're now recording not a, um, uh, a thing of Bob, a mystery. We're recording a drama. So the set is changed. Hang on, we'll go and look at the set in a second. Oh, there it is. Choose the actors. Um, I mean, yeah, we've got two C-listers now. We can get them on board. Maybe, do we put Ronnie in the lead role this time? Maybe we put you in the lead role and Ivor can be the supporting role. Okay, so we'll cast you two because we like you two. The Amazing Tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants. I need help? No. Okay, no, that's absolutely fine. Right, so money is coming in from, huh? But yeah, look, we've got a different set and a different person. Hello. <laughs> Just happily waving at us. How are you? Yep, waving. Stick with the, is that a phone? A bit of papering hand. I don't know what that is, but okay, you're waving at us. Uh, somebody's waiting for direction. Hang on, the amazing tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants is underway. Um, but I'm clicking it and it's it's not doing it. Oh, no, it's you. It's on, huh? That's what it is. Okay, production budget for huh, uh, we're going to leave it like that because it's a drama and I think we need it kind of evenly split between everything. So yeah, props and effect. In fact, you know what? I'll drop that down to 30. Supporting cast can just be a little bit more. Supporting cast can be a tiny bit more, I think. So yeah, go for that, please. See if that works. And hang on, move time on very quickly because time does tick by relatively slowly. So here we go. Nobody waiting for any help from us. The Amazing Tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants is nearly complete. It's nearly written, and it is written. Okay, is it going to be a sensation? I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best thing ever. Oh, 13 and 14. It's incredible. Blanche is looking very good. It's got a plot twist in it. Yeah, okay, that's going to be really good. So now, I think what we do is we complete her, and we push that out there, and then we just get uh, The Amazing Tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants out there, and then we'll see what money we have left. But look, we've got 65 grand right now. Money is slowly ticking up. So I think we should be okay. We should be okay in getting this done. It's going to take a while to produce it, but it's making it a better film. So here we go. Let's just run this on until it's complete. At some point, it's going to pop up with something for us to do. But yeah, let's just keep that ticking over, shall we? Until we have something to deal with. Okay, I think it's done. I think they finished production on her. Huh? Which is good. Okay, so that's complete. It's a new best. New genre gives us a boost. It's all good. No movie traits on it. Bit of a shame, but never mind. Right, have we got to do this festival thing again? Have we got to do this every time? Okay, so enter her. Huh? Put that into the festival. Did that work? Yeah, we're competing at a film festival. Um, and then, immediately, we want you to go and work on The Amazing Tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants. It's going to be a sensation. Um, as long as it takes, yeah, just make it really good. Director can be you. Produce that. So while that's underway, we can try to get... <gasps> the set's changed. Oh, it's like a little sort of ye olde medieval house with a skull of a dragon outside of it for some reason. Because you'd leave that outside just on your front door. <laughs> Why would you leave that there? Okay. Okay. So they've got a nice kind of a Skyrim kind of front door thing going on. Okay. The amazing tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants. Um... Right. We don't have very much money left. Possibly we just put a relatively low uh, amount into the casting budget there. Um, okay, Blanche is idle, but that's sort of to be expected. It's okay. She wrote The Amazing Tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants. I think she needs to go and have a little lie down now and have a sit down somewhere. You can have some time off. Right, leading role. Let's have... Let's have... Ivor. Oh no, it's um, Jimmy Wizard. No, Ronnie can do it because Ivor's been the lead on loads of others. So Ivor can be supporting. So she is playing the dragon. <laughs> okay, we'll cast those two because that makes perfect sense. And okay, the festival is done. 
and did we appear? I don't know if we appeared or not. I'm not really sure. I'm not. I don't fully understand that bit to be honest. Okay, hang on a minute. Jimmy Wizard Pants. Right. Uh, supporting cast, possibly less. I would say props and effects and set design have got to be quite important for a fantasy thing. So hang on, drop supporting cast down a bit more like that. That'll do. So yes, please. Um, can we distribute her? Uh, because we need some money because we're running out quite a lot. Um, we'll have that. We'll have a theatrical release. It's not going to get that much money. But there we go. That is that is a terrible movie poster. <laughs> who, who authorized this poster? It's rubbish. Gavin Wilson, Peter Wong, and Rodney Baldwin. They're not in it. Four, four, five. Okay. Okay. It's its not our finest hour, but you wait till the amazing tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants hits the cinemas. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a sensation. Studio Apartment is bad for drama, apparently. I disagree. I mean, maybe comedy as well, but I'm sure there are dramas set in apartments. Imposter bad. Liar good. Uh, tape copying hits the industry. Videotape sales are at an all-time high, but so is tape copying, which has led to many high-profile lawsuits doing a thing, and then it went to wait. Okay, hang on a minute. Decision. Uh, right, we need to show the passage of time while staying on the same shot, but everyone has forgotten how. I'm going to need a skip frame. It calls for a jump cut. I don't know what a skip frame is. Um, just hire a person. It calls for a jump cut. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. Do a jump cut. I don't know what a skip frame is. We'll pay the money for that. It's worth getting it right, I think. Right, so money's coming in from her. But the big thing is the amazing tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants. We want this to be a, a, a cinematic mega film. That, yeah, it's going to spawn merchandise and books and everything else. It's just going to be... It, people are going to base their lives around it. People are going to be obsessed with it. Um, we can sell you know, wizarding pants. 24 and 24. It's got a plot twist. The plot twist is that he doesn't need his wizard pants to cast the spells. It's within him. It was always within him. And, okay, so people have done some stuff. Right, okay. Enter that into the festival really quickly because we need to do that. So enter the amazing tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants into that, please. So it's already in. Okay, this is good. So now we just have to run time on until that's finished. Um, we could unlock new research. Is there any point in doing that? Employee management. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought maybe it would tell us what that does, but no, it's done a thing. The festival judges, um, props or the stuff. The props were quite good in the amazing toe of Jimmy Wizard Pants. Let's talk about the props. That could be quite good, couldn't it? Uh, right, so how is the film? Oh, we can now teach our employees a thing or two. Click on employees to train them and specialise their skill set. Okay, thank you, random person who doesn't appear to be around the place. So if we wanted to train, say, Blanche to become better, we can train them. We did poorly in a festival. We always do poorly in festivals. It's rigged. We can train you in craft, creativity, or mind. Um, training. Okay, so if we trained you in craft uh, oh i think we just spent a massive pile of money that we possibly can't afford to spend um the amazing tale of jimmy wizard pants came six even though it's clearly better than some of these other ones i feel like we're being hard done by with these things okay but we can now distribute this we can distribute the amazing tale of jimmy wizard pants brace yourself cinemas um Okay, hang on, hang on. There, oh no, we don't want to give away. It's got a dragon on the front. The amazing toe gym, wizard pants, a silhouette of a wizardy person, presumably wearing wizardy pants. Um, yeah, distribute that, please. Want a bit of money from that. This is going to be amazing. People are going to love this. And then I think, well, hang on. I heard one of our employees grumbling today. They seem to be upset about some of the recent events at the studio. We should keep an eye on them, lest they decide to quit. Okay, who was, who was complaining? Who was having a grumble? Um, oh, hang on. Hang on, where, where have all the staff gone? We have idle employees. We haven't got any employees. Where are they all? <laughs> have they both quit? They've both gone. Okay, oh, just as the amazing tale of Jimmy Wizard Pants is coming along. Three, that, that they missed, that's an eight. They missed the bit out. It was a printing error. It's an eight out of ten. Six out of ten. And uh, four out of ten. There's, there's a zero there. Again, printing error. Forty out of ten. That's how good it was. That's how good it was. Um, I get the audience. So they're the important people. Sophisticated. They General people loved it. Look, the general audience thought that was amazing. 
to a loner in a fantasy film is is not a good thing. Have you seen The Hobbit? When I get, they're not good films, but The Hobbit, he is a loner. You know, uh, uh, Bilbo Baggins is a loner. He wants to be left alone at the start of the films and in the books. He doesn't like the fact that the dwarves there bothering him. He doesn't like that at all. So why, why is why is loner a bad thing in a fantasy thing? That's a bit strange. I mean, it's it's racking up the money. We've got no people, of course. Joe, what we're gonna do? But we're going to wait until that finishes its run. I think it might have finished its run now. As, as Jimmy Wizardpants finished its uh, cinema run, what we're going to do is we're going to pause time. So five years and ten months in. And um, there's 80,000 uh, generic monies there. What we're going to do is we're going to take that and, and we're going to run off to Barbados. That's what we're going to do. We're going to run away to a lovely, lovely desert island-y type, a paradise island type thing. Barbados, I mean, it might be Barbados, might be another one. Somewhere hot and sunny and lovely where we can get pina coladas and also some tea, possibly. And, um, and yeah, we'll go with that, I think. We're just going to run away with the money. Although, I realise I haven't clicked one of these yet. What does that do? Oh, that hires a director. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm a bit confused as to why they both quit. I was training one of them up. So, um, so yeah, we're going to... Hang on, can we get a bit more money than that? 80.94, is more money coming in? No, I don't think it is. We're going to pause time. We're having that. Okay, so we're going to have that. It's accidentally going to fall into our pocket. And then, yeah, away to uh, some lovely tropical island with us, preferably where there's a hammock and some Wi-Fi as well would help. Uh, and then, yes, we can have some lovely tea and some pina coladas and life shall be good with our ill-gotten gains over there. And we shall leave this behind. But there we go. That was Movie House, or to give it its full title, Movie House, the film studio tycoon. And we've seen many games like this. We've seen many games in this style, in this genre. You hire people, they contribute points to all particular topics. And the fun thing is with this, you get to create your own films and all that kind of stuff. It does have that slight random element where you can't sort of control everything. So it comes up with you know, the settings and you have to pick one. And it's a bit, well, I had the idea of you know, the name of the film was, whatever it was, uh, Inconvenience in the Orient Express. We had to set it in a monastery or in a ghost town or wherever it was. It doesn't kind of fit properly. So you might have an idea, but the game doesn't give you the things to help you fit you know, that idea properly. But you know what? You have to go with it. You have to wing it. Um, yeah, this was, it was okay. It was okay. Again, I think we've played similar games like this where they do feel a bit, it's a bit repetitive and this is quite slow. I mean, we've been playing for quite a long time. We earned, what, four research points was it in total? So we unlocked one genre and two sort of generic upgrades. I mean, the thing about this is you want to be able to unlock lots and lots of different genres. That's a kind of fun thing and they get better at it and you get really good films coming along. This felt quite slow. This felt quite slow, if I'm being completely honest. And it was okay. It was okay. It was enjoyable. Again, we said, yeah, the fun thing is making up your own silly film names and kind of running with that. But I mean, yeah, it, it sort of works, but I don't think we'll be coming back to it. I don't think we're coming back to it at all. I think we've had our fun with it. It's just a bit too, it's a bit too pedestrian. It's a bit too pedestrian. And it does feel like some things are kind of shoehorned in there, like the decisions that pop up saying, oh, we need to do a thing, but they've forgotten how. So really, they're a direct, that's their job. They should know how to do a cut shot, whatever it was. So yeah, that felt a little bit sort of a, a little bit shoehorned in as though we were supposed to be having a bit of control over it. But um, but yeah, overall, if you like these types of games, this might be okay. Prepare for a bit of a long kind of game because it's not the fastest. Things do tick over quite slowly. But yeah, there you go. There you go. That was Movie House. I'm glad we took a look at it. But um, but yeah, it's uh, this is the full version of the game. It's not an early access or anything like that. This is the full version of the game. It does feel a little bit like it just needs a tiny bit of polish though it's a little bit of polish just to refine a few bits here and there and make it uh just make it a little bit more effective and efficient and speed things up a bit because it was yeah quite slow and quite repetitive but there we go we've had a look at it it was fun while it lasted but uh, yeah we're not going to come back to it i do not think but there we go that was movie house hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time i've kind of built a very horrific kind of lounge <laughs> wow i mean if that's not gonna give you a headache i don't know what will it's the balcony of doom at the minute we've now got ourselves the jungle room the pink room 
and the teapot's tip top sweet. That actually makes my eyes go a bit funny. Should we have that one? <laughs> oh, that is completely perfect and dreadful. 